welcome to season two of On The Spot. At On The Spot, we discuss the issues. Welcome to another round of discussion with me, your host, Stella Bangura. Now we're continuing the conversation from last week's episode, where I had a phenomenal young graduate from the University of Sierra Leone who started her coffee processing business called Coffee Couriers in 2014, right after sitting her senior secondary school exam, because she had no money to further her education. Well, today, her business has not only been able to fund her university education, but now sits on the shelves of many supermarkets, homes, and offices as her coffee now goes global. This is all about the story of young, enterprising Sierra Leoneans who refuse to stay unemployed in a country where unemployment is high, entrepreneurship among young people quite low, and a society where a lot of young people feel is unfavorable or provides no opportunities for them. Just like my guest last week, tonight's guest, Melford Vincent Mara, embodies the Sierra Leone we all want to see. Now, she's the founder and CEO of iGrow Cosmetics, a cosmetic formulation business she started in 2016 due to her quest to solve her hair care needs. iGrow is a skin and hair care manufacturing company that uses 100% natural products that are mostly sourced locally. As an undergrad in the University of Sierra Leone, she was able to build her business from scratch whilst juggling the demanding task of studying and of course being a wife. Her products are now sold in and out of Freetown and in the UK. The iGrow we all have come to love was started with an investment of just 60,000 Leons. Well, she's also one of our newest lawyers on the block, having graduated a few weeks ago, so her title has become a lot longer. So congratulations and a beautiful welcome <laughs> to Mrs. Melford Vincent Murrah Esquire. You've got to put the Esquire there. First of all, congratulations <laughs> thank on you, thank you. your graduation. First of all, how was it for you? How, how did you um, feel? You know, you, when you've been doing something for so long, mm -hmm. you know, I started the WAS exams and then I went directly to the university to study law. Mm -hmm. So that I've been doing it for, let's say, seven years or seven so. Years. So it's a bit surreal that I'm finally done. <laughs> you know, I'm still between the phase of saying, oh, I'm a law student or I'm mm -hmm. a lawyer. And I'm a lawyer and I'm no longer a law student because <laughs> I've been a law student for... For so, so long. long. <laughs> so long. So it's, it's, it's amazing. It's I'm amazing. curious, why law? Well, I'd say, I think it started when I was in high school. Mm. I had a teacher. Mm. He was studying law at the time. My history okay. and government teacher, Mr. Malcolm Hoyes George. Okay. He, was, um, he was a mentor to me. I really admired him. And at the time he was um, studying. And then he told us one day that he's, um, studying law and I was quite interested mm. and he he took a liking to me he, he usually tells me that he's never seen a student who has a perfect subject verb agreement as I am <laughs> and he, he says I'll be his wow. secty and I said no Mr. Mark I would not be your secty <laughs> I'll be a lawyer as well and I think the drive started from, from then there. yes and then I grew to love uh, um, the profession and mm. I admired a whole lot of lawyers and at the end of the day I think it's about making a difference so many people would say yeah. but also you know it has its financial benefits mm -hmm. and all of that so I think it's something best suited for an arts person as I am. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so people who say it's a field that's just literally oversaturated, you know, like when you listen to Sarah the Unions, they tell you, oh, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an accountant. Uh, what do you have to say to them? Well, it seems I, everyone wants to be a lawyer. Everybody wants to be a lawyer, a doctor and all of that. You know, I was having a conversation with a friend and they were saying, oh, what do you go want for make you pick in B? And then I was like, I think they would have to choose their profession yeah. because at the end of the day, in as much as I come from a family, my mom particularly wanted me to be a professional, a professional. That's what she she's always wanted. Yeah. So this is somewhat achieving my mom's dream as well. But deep down, I think 
you know, I believe in diversity. Yeah. You can be a lawyer, you can be a very good lawyer, you can be a very good carpenter, mm -hmm. you can be a very good doctor, you can be a very good graphic designer. So I think we, for a long time, so as we're focused on the professionals. Yes. And we, we, that's, I think that's one of the main reasons why I think we're a bit lagging behind compared mm -hmm. to other countries. Yes, we have not, you know, raised the other professions or other mm -hmm. um, skills to equally be at par with the other yeah. the professional causes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I, I believe in everything. Thing. Well, you are a lawyer <laughs> with a twist, okay? Uh, you are uh, an entrepreneur. Yes. And, of course, this is the beautiful face behind that brand, Igra. I mean, when you think about Igra and you look at her hair, then it makes total sense. So what was... First of all, I, I, I'm sure you didn't think you were just you were going to go into business. No. I mean, if someone had told you probably when no. you were in high school no. that you were going to be a businesswoman, you probably would not have taken it serious. Yes. So how did that journey into entrepreneurship mm. start for you? Well, uh, um, let's go back to high school. I, mm. I, at, the, at the time, I, I really wasn't thinking of doing a business. I've been somewhat of a person who always wanted her own. I, you know, my mom gives me lunch, but I always want more. Maybe I want yeah. some extra ice cream or, you know, some extra candy. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd get, um, like, I used to do this cornflakes thingy. I'd mix the cornflakes and sugar and milk mm -hmm. and tie them in plastic bags. And then I'd sell them to my colleagues in oh, school. Wow. So okay. I think it stemmed from that. Then I think in 2000 and it was 2014, 15, I was having troubles with my hair. That was a big challenge for me. I always had to wear weaves or wigs because I had no edges. My hair was badly damaged. Mm -hmm. And I really struggled for a very long time. And at the time in Freetown here, we, you know, we were a bit closed off with the, you know, the sheer moistures yeah. now, the cantus, mm -hmm. they were not here. Yeah. So I, I'm, I, I love researching. So I, I took to Google as usual. And then I was looking up like natural ingredients that will aid in hair growth and mm -hmm. all of that. And I came to found, find out um, a whole lot of things. And I was really interested. And I started, you know, mixing all of this stuff. You know, I get shea butter and mm -hmm. these herbs and mix this and mix that, a trial and error. Until I finally, around 2015, got mm -hmm. a particular formula that I started that using personally. And it worked for me. I had to cut all of my hair and my hair grew from okay. scratch again. And then my hair... Reality was growing rapidly, and friends and family um, took a notice because they knew I had, <laughs> yeah, had hair. terrible hair. Yes, exactly. Okay. And my mom, eh, no, for, can I have some of that? Mm -hmm. And my friends, can I have some of that? Mm -hmm. And eventually, in 2016, um, I think I was reading a book in particular, um, The Success Principle by okay. Jack Canfield. Okay. And he, Success Principle by Jack Canfield. <laughs> Jack so, Canfield. Go grab that book. Yes, and he says. Um, if you can find a way to monetize a particular gift that you have, yes. if you're so good at it that you can do it for free and you don't feel like you're, you're having to work, if you can yeah. find a way to monetize that, then you wouldn't have to work a day in your life. And then I thought, you Absolutely. know, I'm good with this thing. Yeah. You know, I've, took, I've taken a liking with mm -hmm. this cosmetic thing and it works. So how, why can't I? So I had colleagues in, at the university. I was in my second year, I guess. Second, so yeah, so second year. when you started, because mm -hmm. this whole journey, this process of mm -hmm. trying to find a solution. I mean, we women, yes. we, can re we can relate to that story. <laughs> uh, finding a solution of what works best mm -hmm. for your hair. Yeah. This was in 2015. You were just out of high school or you just entered into the university? I was in the university by then. I was in my, I was heading to my second year. Second year. Yes, in okay. university. Right. Yeah. And um, yeah, so. So I had colleagues in class who also knew that my hair was relatively long for the average hair person mm -hmm. at the time. And they took an interest in what I placed in my hair. And I remember vividly. I'm a colleague, she's now a lawyer as well, and she asked me that, Milford, I want the product that you're making. And at the time, I think I was paying about roughly almost 60,000 lirans mm -hmm. to buy the ingredients and create yeah. it. And I told her, okay, I'll get you one. And I told her it was 60,000 lirans. So I had some money at hand at the time, went to town, got my ingredients, created it, and brought it for her. And, then, and, and at this point, it was just still... Yes, let me help you. It was, it was still something you just mix, you whip up in your kitchen yes. and you just put it in a container. And a jar. In fact, it was a yogurt container. I had bought the yogurt the other day and I just washed up the container okay. and slapped the moisture, the yeah. thing in there and took it for her okay. the next day. The, and uh, as I gave it to her, other colleagues were like, oh, Melford, this is the thing that you're using. I say, yes. Oh, I want one, I want one. Mm -hmm. And she paid me the 60,000 euros, went again, created another two. And basically that was it. So it came wow. the next day. 
day and then, then I realized oh you know I can post it on Facebook maybe somebody would want it mm. and then I started having reviews and from the, from those friends from those friends and mm. their friends and their friends and basically it grew from that okay. just from that 60,000 leons I basically sold made so more, I, I just sold. want you to reiterate <laughs> this 60,000 leons investment why because I am um, on a, on, a, on the program another program that I co-present mm -hmm. And I was having this sort of uh, discussion with the um, with my co-presenter, mm -hmm. and we were talking about this, I mean, about young people being enterprising and just basically starting with whatever you have. You have. And I remember saying, you can start with as little as a hundred thousand. Yeah. If you have it, you can start. And as you'd understand, a, a conversation online that day was just off, off, off the. It just went off. But one thing that caught my attention was there was this person who was like, uh, no, you can't start a business with 100,000 Leons in Sierra Leone. Like, <laughs> it's like you're dreaming. Uh, so I want you to just sort of go through that again. Is mm -hmm. it possible? I mean, yeah, you started this in 2016 and with 60,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people would say 16, 2016 to 2021, value of the dollar has clearly you know, increased, yeah, Leon yeah. has de depreciated, yeah. cost of living has gone up. But is it still possible to start a business with literally no money? Yes, I do believe that because it's something that has worked for me. And I'm a very practical person. So I believe, in, in fact, starting small helps you to understand and navigate how far you've come. Mm -hmm. And considering the, um, at the time I was pretty young and... I've never held a, a large amount of money. The, the, the possibility of me, you know, messing yeah. everything up was so high if I had had a whole lot of capital to start mm -hmm. up. But I started small and grew it from there. And some people say, oh, it's because of your line of business. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always have a little money to start cosmetics. Mm -hmm. And even if you have maybe, let's say, something that involves a, a larger capital, you can always use a little money to create yeah, a larger a large. capital for what you want to do. Exactly. Like, for example... Let's say you want to be, do a bakery. Of, obviously, it involves a whole lot of things. You can always find some other little things. Maybe buy something, sell. You grow your capital till you can have a, a substantial amount of money that you can start the business that you always want. Mm -hmm. So I, I really don't believe that you cannot start small. The problem is people like, you know, we young people, the millennials, who like ready-made yes, stuff. Like, absolutely. oh, we want to write a loan to the bank. Mm -hmm. And these banks, they would not even encourage no. you. You don't even own any property. Yeah. And they'll ask you, come with your your <laughs> your, 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 your <laughs> collateral, your 2019, where I'm sure your dad or mom would not give you their, you know, their whatever it is. So I believe in starting small. It has worked for me. And that is what I preach regularly with all the people and other mentees that I have mm -hmm. to encourage them to grow their businesses well, as well. Well, Malford, continue to stay with me. We'll take a quick break. This is On The Spot. We'll be right back. Domestic revenue mobilization is a key instrument for the government of Sierra Leone in reducing poverty, increasing financial independence, achieving middle income status, and charting the path for new directions. From supporting the free quality education, good roads, healthcare, electricity, and more. Domestic revenue mobilization is very critical when it comes to national development. Through the Asikoda world, we have developed beautiful management tools. We have also developed um, systems in which it will bring transparency and help to the, to the importer, to the broker. ITAS is a platform for all your domestic taxes. The electronic cash register system is the game changer. Let's support government by paying our taxes. For more information, visit the nearest NRA office or log on to our website www.nra. .gov.sl Setting up a business can be a headache. Finding office space, buying furniture, printers and photocopiers. But if you're not ready for all that, BSI can help. 
BSI provides furnished and serviced office spaces for the short or medium term, whether it's for a day meeting, a conference, or an immediate office rental for a few months. There are no long-term cost commitments, and the offices are fully equipped with all your office needs. Or we can simply provide you with a prestigious business address, thanks to one of our virtual offices. Find out more about BSI, your office away from the office. Go to bsisl.com or call 076-242-328. Right, welcome back. I still have Melford Esquire. I love, I swear down, I love the new title. So <laughs> I am now officially on a mission to go Finn Clapper <laughs> because I now officially know I have a lawyer yes. who's going to come defend me. <laughs> and I am just going to be talking anyhow <laughs> because I now know I have someone who's going to defend me. So, <laughs> all right. So, Going back now a little bit, still still going back on how you started. Of course, you were married and you married very young. Yeah. Um, uh, was it before you started the business or after you started? Uh, before I started. Before you yes. started. How was that um, for you? What was the support um, from your husband? Uh, did he see the vision? Did he think that I grow will catch it like it has, you know, sort of caught on now? Well, um I'm grateful. I have a very supportive husband. At the time, he was not in town. He was working in the provinces, so I, I was home most of the time. And he was very, very supportive. I remember we worked on the, the, the logo. We found a name. He was, we were you know, corresponding. What do you think of this color code? Mm -hmm. So he was he, at, from scratch. He, he was there, yeah. and he was very supportive. I do not know if he thought it would have you know, what it is today, yeah. but he believed in me then when it was nothing and he's been there throughout. He's my production partner. <laughs> he's my marketing partner. He has been really supportive. But was he, was he the, the, the part of the people who were the first to sample, test the product? Well, um, <laughs> another line, the, the skincare line basically stemmed from him um, because okay. he had certain skincare issues that I really wanted to fix. Because, wow. you know, I started with the hair care. Yes. And then eventually, a few years down the line, I started the skin care. Mm -hmm. So it was because of a problem that he had that I had to branch into skin care. Wow. <laughs> yes. He had um, acne-prone skin. So I wanted to create, um, like, something that would work for his skin, that would help with the scars. Mm -hmm. And then I um, went on to create the shea butter, the mm -hmm. body butter, the black soap, the oil, and all of that. Wow. Yes. Yes. And, and clearly, he was your... Um, what I'd say, the proof yeah. that your work, that, it that the product yeah. worked. Yeah. So how is it um, basically marketing it? I, I know clearly a large chunk of that was through word of mouth. Yes. But after a while, mm -hmm. it goes beyond word yeah. of mouth. How yeah. were you able to scale up well, the business? I'll say oftentimes, I think we take um, social media for granted. To a very large extent, we think it's only for fun and games. Yeah. And I grow basically grew on social media. That's the only thing. Well, maybe interviews and there's other things on TV, yeah. seldom. But the, the chunk of my advertising and marketing is done on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. And so I have a page. Normally, I'll post my products on my page. Mm -hmm. And then Facebook has this feature where you boost your posts. Mm -hmm. And I boost them for people in Sierra Leone and Guinea and Liberia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, it, it pops up on people's timeline. And they get, what is this? What is this? And they maybe give a call. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I saw this online. I want to try it. Is it from Ghana? And I said, no, it's from Sierra Leone. <laughs> in a salon that they make, huh? It did work. I said, well, you can always try it and see. And mm -hmm. then maybe that person buys it. It works. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, then come on, product that they do in Sierra Leone. Maybe that's how it grew. Honestly, at, at the end of the day, I'm a Christian. And I, I believe it's the grace of God. Mm -hmm. It was God that bought the idea and he has sustained it throughout all of these years. And I believe he gave me the intelligence, the mm -hmm. know-how, and even the people that used it, because yeah. I can use an amazing product and not tell anybody about it. Mm -hmm. In fact, keep it all to myself. But then my clients have been very, very influential in growing my business. They always recommend. Somebody that calls me say, suppose and give me your number for mm -hmm. call you. It always happens. So that's how it's, it's wow. grown. Yeah. And, and as, as you've just sort of made it look so easy, <laughs> it was a journey that was 
I'm sure there were moments where you questioned, yeah, yeah. you know, if this all made sense. Yeah. Um, uh, take us through on what the journey really was like, the challenges mm -hmm. you had to, you had to sort of overcome. Yes. And taking again into consideration, you were still in school, in school. and that comes with its own fair share of, yes. of headache. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'd say the first thing, one of the main challenges, because I'm somewhat, I, I like things done with at international standards, or at least uh, it, it could yeah. it could compete with other countries. And one of my main problem was packaging. At the time, I started with some funny containers that I got at um, um, Abacha Street. Mm. It was so, <laughs> the, 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 co the cover wouldn't even latch. I had to use cello tape, and it was not working for me because I mm. see these other products and they're sealed, you know, mm -hmm. they're very nice. And then I went to one of these plastic companies, I think it was Mila or Shankara's, one of them. I said, oh, we don't do this kind of sauce. There's no market for it here. The mold cost us thousands of dollars and we could not just wow. buy that. Just So it was really ch challenging. And I had to, you know, source um, packaging from China, which was so expensive and time consuming. And it involves so much, you know, it got to a point that I did not have enough to supply my demand because, you know, I started small and yeah. it just blew up and everybody was asking. And then I don't have enough products because of packaging, mm -hmm. because of the time. So it was stressful. And then there's academics over there having to, I had studied in law is no child's play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have to study, you have to keep up with assignments yeah. and tasks. It was not easy. And honestly, I think the, the, the part um, that I struggled, it's when my business really blew and I did not had, have enough money to, you know, create products for the demand that I already have. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that has always been my trouble. And I think till date, because the, the demand is so high. Yeah. So oftentimes you say, I go down down a market and then I, I'm here actually waiting for my packaging to come all the way from China. It takes sometimes 43 days, yeah. 45 days. So that's been a very, very big challenge for me. And also having these labels, you know, I had to, to do everything online. I had to study marketing online. Google things up. I had to learn branding, I've, you know, packaging, color, the things that would go with cosmetics, yeah. all of that. I had to learn online. No one taught but me. But when you I, mean learn online, mm. I, I know they have a lot of online schools now. Not schools. So, okay. <laughs> Not so schools. Take us through on that online learning. That learning you, things you online. My friends call me Auntie Google. I believe you can find anything on Google. So I'll Google, like, how do you? create products how do you market products and mm -hmm. then something will come up branding oh what is this and then what is branding yeah. i'll read on it oh you have to have a certain color code that will mm -hmm. attract customers yeah. and then you have you know all of these funny funny things i basically i'm self-taught I, I never went to any business school so i take time to research to learn from others mm -hmm. i study other businesses yes. other people who've grown in certain areas that i am other nigerians Ghanaians, people in the u.s so that basically i take knowledge from every source that I can put it together and see how it fits in my own country and how I can make my business work from that. Yeah. So just to repeat this, yes. and I know I'm repeating it because you have a lot of young Sierra Leoneans with the latest of the latest mm -hmm. device you can see <laughs> and they connected online like 24 <laughs> seven. And I asked them, what the hell are you doing okay. online? So just to reiterate this, <laughs> your business, mm -hmm. the business of formulation mm -hmm. of hair care products mm -hmm. and skincare product, mm -hmm. no one taught you. No one taught me. And you learned it how? Online. So you went through a series of research. Research. So that means you must have Googled a lot. A lot. Watched, YouTube read a lot. A lot mm -hmm. Watched a lot of YouTube videos mm -hmm. to find a solution. Yes. Exactly. And then in the aspect of your business in itself, mm -hmm. growing the business, what works. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. you resulted to the online space. Yeah. Yeah. So basically you're self-taught. Self-taught. But here's the difference. You made a personal decision yes. to empower yourself. yourself. And exactly. this is something I find, I, I always tell people, Google is your best friend. Yeah. I mean, I get some stupid, ridiculous questions <laughs> and I'm like, Google. Google, it's your best friend. Yeah. And what people don't realize is there's so much wealth of, ex of knowledge mm -hmm. online that I'm not saying don't go to school, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you probably do not need to go to school. school. <laughs> because there's 
practically nothing you want to learn that you cannot learn on your oh, own, no, yeah. free of cost. Yes. The only thing that it will cost you is probably the data, the data. and the mobile device. Yes. I mean, I have read, I have watched people who have learned how to drive a plane, mm. fly a plane just by, again, online, online speak how many languages they've mm -hmm. learned how to. It's unbelievable. Yes. And I can relate because I'm also like that. Mm. I didn't go to the school of journalism. Mm. I didn't go to the school of presentation. I didn't go to, I mean, I read business administration, <laughs> yes, but I am not doing anything. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm doing my business. But the point is, at every given point in time, mm -hmm. I would always Google. I mean, I found mentors. I found mm -hmm. role yes, models. Exactly. And I'm like, okay, so in this profession, mm -hmm. who are the people that I want to be like? And like. then I have like Oprah Winfrey. I have Ellen DeGer not Ellen, because she's, uh, she's in a different field. Mm -hmm. um, but then I have, you know, I, I identify people like that. And then I would watch them. And I would, you know, pretend yeah. that I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Because eventually what happens is you are learning subconsciously. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you understand? Exactly. And then I would go, how do you... I googled the most ridiculous things. things. You have no idea. The most... I mean, it's so ridiculous <laughs> that if I have a headache and I know the symptoms, I go online, <laughs> Google headache with eye pain, yeah, with back yeah, pain. Yeah. And then I Google. So I have an idea of what are the possible causes. Oh, so yes. even if I go to a doctor who tells me, oh, you have high blood pressure, and I'm like, oh, but Google doesn't say yeah. that. Is and the likely. doctors hate us for that. They hate us for that. <laughs> so I, I want you to please just go over this because a lot of young people, you know, you live in a society, like I mentioned in, in the intro, where a lot of young people say, oh, Papa government didn't mm. create jobs for us or there are no opportunities. And you have people literally... I mean, I've had conversations with um, some people who undertook illegal migration. They went through the temple run process, yes. those who were literally trafficked out. And these are people who spend thousands of dollars to these people. And you begin to wonder, why can't you start a business? Mm -hmm. So please reiterate this uh, for, for the viewers, mm. the importance of personal development. You don't need to have a master's or a degree yeah, yeah. from the best university, you mm, know, out mm, of Sierra Leone. Mm. But you can be the best person yeah. if you make that conscious yeah, effort. Yeah. And I, I believe we're, we're moving, um, the era, the, the world's era is moving to that phase. It's no longer the certificates yeah. and the documents that you can show. It's about the value you bring, you bring. to the table. It's about what you can do, yeah. you know? I, and I believe, just like Stella um, just said, everything is online. Personally, I have grown my business from nothing to what it is today. I know I have a very long way to go, but mm -hmm. everything has been online. I haven't paid a dime to any cosmetic formulator mm -hmm. to teach me how to do it. I studied everything, the business aspect of it, the marketing aspect of it, the branding aspect of it, everything online. You have your handset, you have your data. And you, you didn't pay it. Eh? You didn't pay anybody. I didn't. I you only just I, paid data. Data, exactly. <laughs> so wherever you are, whatever line, you know, if you, you, you're fond of, you know, if you like clothing, you can learn how to design dresses yeah. online. You just need to take your time. You have, you allocate your time, a particular time in the day. You sit and watch yeah. these people, how they cut, mm -hmm. how they sew and all of that. It can be, it can be done. You don't need to travel to Nigeria or Ghana to go, you know, Absolutely. I used to do makeup. I, I don't do it anymore. I learned makeup on YouTube, mm -hmm. full face. I did not have to pay any person. Yep. Although that's also their own line of business. I would know want to say something that would yeah. let you know, oh, so we not forget we own, right? Mm. But you know, you can learn anything, anything online. So whatever it is you're trying to do, the first step is your handset. Just get your phone, go to Google, type what it is, and you start from there. All right, so starting from there, we'll go for a quick break and um, we will be back very very soon but very soon we're going to be taking the video of the week and uh i mean she makes it look so easy i mean she looks beautiful the hair looks beautiful skin is amazing looks like it's such an easy work but yeah it's, it's not as easy as she makes it look but we'll take it's a quick there. break we'll be back but very soon we'll be coming up with the video of the week and i'm sure you have an idea of what that video is going to look like we'll be back The ball as a terror, I don't leave behind his own. The English language question paper. It's only 500,000 euros per person. Unati Young lady, yes, you can wait. I want to discuss something with you. 
As I don't tell you earlier, I get all the question papers there. Sakamala, please stop. Stop. You can't be an old corporate. Why you the plan me sir to get? Or oh, you want to spend the rest of your life to take this old exam again? Hmm. What about if I'm still with you tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, sir. Okay, 12 o'clock. Come with me. Now. Who is it? Oh! Kaisa, Kaisa! Young lady. Good afternoon, sir. You're more beautiful than sex. Thank you very much, sir. Wow. Wow. Can't close to me. I'm telling you that all the leakages in this are going to lay my hands on them. I get them all in different subjects. Yes, sir. Sure, sure. I must tell you. Scorpion squad from anti-corruption commission. Mister, you're under arrest. Officer, you're under arrest. What do you have job that you do? I'm a job that you do, officer. go. You're oh. ready. We, the teachers them, we will always be role models. We will never get involved in such a shameful act. Hello? Hello, Mr. Abu. I am calling for your rental tax payment. Oh, my goodness. Hello? This is a call from the... Your colleague is on the other line. Can you just please hold... You are a landlord or property agent? You don't hear about rental income tax? As property owner or agent where they collect rent, the law say you for pay tax and are you tax identification number where they call team you they use for pay them. Yes, me fumble them. The law say without this tax identification number, you no go able to pay your tax. And if you no pay your tax, the law go bet you tranga tranga one. Welcome, sir. Please sit. Thank you. We don't make them easy for you now. The law say mm -hmm. since you the collect rent we pass seven point two million loans, mm -hmm. you for come to NIA and pay your rental tax. Just after we tenants don't pay you down. So no more calls from everywhere. You go just get one SMS or one phone call. We go remind you, sir. Thank you very much. For no more, go na any NIA office near you or visit www.nia.gov.sl. Remember, paying taxes is required by law. Right, for those of you just joining, I have with me Melford Vincent Mara Esquire, and um, she is the CEO, founder, the beautiful brain behind I Grow Cosmetics, and that's a local, I use local because Sierra, it's Sierra Leonean uh, company, but trust me when I mean it's international, um, you know, skincare and hair care product um, formulation company, and um, they have their products in and out of Sierra Leone. Um, we haven't talked about one aspect of this whole process, and that's family. I know when I went online and you were just sort of celebrating the fact that you had just graduated in, in, in that message of, you know, just sort of, sort of excitement, there was that also, um, disappointment and, and pain that there was just this very special person who yeah. could not be a part of all the amazing things that's happened mm. and the you know beautiful empowered bold woman that you have now 
become and that's your father now you're gonna get me as a I know I know I'm so sorry I'm, oh my god I'm so sorry it's okay. don't, don't. listen I'm also emotional yeah so I don't want to just it's okay yeah so um, yeah well like you said um my father it's like was like a rock yeah oh, okay maybe we could can we go yeah <laughs> I don't so okay so um he died when I was 12 I was in GSS2 at the time and you know he had always been so influential in my life he lived for a very short period of time during my lifetime but he made so much impact that I still see today and wow. you know I I know you know God does not make mistakes so He's gone now but he did his part but you know the people who are alive my mother mm-hmm. my mother is my rock because you know having to deal with a teenager at the time you know I was about be- being 13 and she single-handedly raised me since my daddy died she has been there um in my academics you know she's not much of an e- educated woman but she believes in education mm-hmm. she she forced me you know to go to school you know she couldn't really help me with the assignment but she paid less in teacher oh. she has always been there and i you remember i took the was in ss2 i remember she went for a parent teachers meeting and then my english teacher at the time told us enough is really doing well for a class i think you should let her take the was exams i was in ss2 oh. at the time and my mom she really did not understand she paid the fees oh. for the was i took the exams and i got my grades and I was admitted at the law department for public college just like that i had to skip ss3 i skipped ss4 so she's oh, good that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so she's that kind of woman she is yeah. so she's my rock and i'm all the time i, I pray i say god please give her a long life for me you yeah. know because the life that daddy did not have let her have it and i also have my sister she lives in the us she's a rock she has been supporting financially morally wow. and all of that i have my brother as well who is also very is we are a very tightly knitted family because we we don't have our father father around so it's only mommy and i and my siblings and then eventually my husband came in when i was my second year in university and he has been a father more or less i'll just say that he has been a father so i think i have a very good support system yeah. you've made me cry i know i'm sorry <laughs> and i'm just trying not to i mean you can see i'm already getting teary eyed because i'm know. also a very emotional I person know. i know i'm so sorry i didn't i mean yeah it has is, really not been an yeah. e- been an easy journey like you said i make it look so easy but there are times that you know there was no money on my mommy's side and we have to go without i have to at times go to school without lunch you know there's all this side and yeah. i usually tell my my colleagues that i do not come from a rich background i'm not a rich kid mm-hmm. and you know my mom did her best to give me the best that she yeah. can and she, i i remember after the beke exams and my past but then she could not afford to pay for the school that I was in at the time I was at SS SS on a minor international school yeah. and that time daddy had died and just as too and then she did not want me I actually took for for annual I got the max but she, she wanted me to be in a private school and then she got the Royal Beckley Academy school and then god was so good I got a scholarship throughout my wow. my stay at Royal Beckley Academy so you see the, all the glitter the gold the beauty but then there has been a journey as well with financially we struggled financially but god has been good at the end of the day and he he gets all the glory so we're really tightly knitted family and they have been my support throughout mm-hmm. till date they have been my support including mm-hmm. my husband yeah. yeah i know you know dad is going to be super proud yeah you know you know they don't i mean yeah they pass on mm-hmm. but the spirit is still very yes, much within yes, us yes. and they look and they see us and they they guide us yes. you know so the only difference is they are not here in the physical yes so yes. i'm sure he's going to be so proud of you i definitely um, know he is you know it, it's 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 just amazing you you have come from this is where you say when the world has thrown so many lemons yeah. at yeah. you and yeah. you just kept on making mm. lemonade mm. lemonade <laughs> lemonade and it got to a point you started selling the, the lemonade, lemonade. <laughs> do you understand exactly. And, exactly and this is always what i always say i tell people that you have no control mm. the family you're born into yes. whether they are poor yes. whether they're rich mm. Mm. but you have control yes. 
over you remaining poor yes. or pulling yourself out, out of that of poverty. poverty. Exactly. And you just you exactly. that's just what you've just reminded exactly. all of us. Yeah. You know, yeah. look at your mom. Like I, I can just imagine <laughs> your that, that English teacher speaking all those English, and your mom is just there, like, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you understand? But there's that yeah. vision that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have it, but my children can have it. And yes. Clearly, you haven't yes. disappointed them. Yes. yes. You, you're, you're the role model that we want all our young girls to be. I mean, we have, we, we live in a world now where a lot of young people, like you rightly say, ready made. They just want it. No, you right know, there, there. right now, they mm. just want it on the platter of gold. And it doesn't work that it way. You've got to pay doesn't. your dues. Exactly. We look at you now, beautiful. Exactly. The hair is long, <laughs> skin is on, you know, you look like, oh, you got the husband. But there are days yes. that it's not so rosy. At all. And, At all. you know, mm-hmm. yeah. May he continue to rest in peace. Clearly, he did an amazing job with you. And I'm sure with your um, brother yeah. and, and sisters as well. So... Enough of the emotional stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I grow. Mm-hmm. I grow. I grow. We have come to know and love. I, I grow. grow. Um, where can we get I grow? Oh. Is it a thousand dollars? No, no. It's can really, we afford really it? affordable. Really affordable. <laughs> really affordable. Because one of my, I want every Serena to to have eye grow. Yeah. That's my dream. So every certain household yeah. must have an eye grow product. So it works for the banker, for the lawyer, for Ooh. the market woman. Yeah. Everybody can afford it. Yeah. And eye grow is all over Freetown. You can have it. Mac Pharmacy is one of my biggest distributors. Okay. So Mac Pharmacy, Godreach at Lumley, Mac Pharmacy at Mountain Court, and also Choi Drums for Markets, yeah. one of my distributors, um, Kuta Road, um, yeah. Wellington, the one in town, mm-hmm. and also in Bo. I also have it at the biggest pharmacy in Boham Delay Pharmacy, wow. and also it's with UK um, in UK. Um, I have a um, supplier there. She's called Dini Co. I can also give her contact out yeah. if they contact me, yeah. and then I can just we'll, tell them. We'll and, share all yes, the and all of that, and yeah. it's everywhere. And I'm also looking to finally longer way to establish my own store. I think I have a little time now to do that you know, we're done with the academic we can't stuff wait. we're done with the academic stuff so yeah. look out for i grow the mm-hmm. store is coming very 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 soon yes. by the grace of god so wonderful yes, oh my yes, god yes, we wish you yes. all the best i'm still teary eyed um yes. yeah so let me ask this very important question because mm-hmm. i know my guest i had last week um you know she's just like you she, you know, she's just so enterprising. Mm. She, but she started an agri business, okay. and, you know, the coffee, coffee business, business, and you know, just like just like you, she couldn't afford to go to the university, and okay. you know, she started this business by chance, yeah. and she learned her way, just like you, trial and error, yeah. mistakes, <laughs> and just and not giving up. up. That's the and, most important thing. You know what she said, which I can relate with. I mean. I mean, we, I always say we have a huge skills and capacity gap mm-hmm. in Sierra Leone is the workers, like finding the right people mm-hmm. to work with. Is that a challenge <laughs> for you? And these are usually <laughs> the young people who tell you, work no day, like there's yes, no job. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they are so the same challenge they are the same. Uh, That's a very, very big challenge. That's one of my biggest challenges. That's why for a very long period of time, I had to handle everything on my own mm-hmm. because it's difficult having the the people who have the same drive as you, yes. who are results oriented like you, mm. you know, they just want at the end of the month you pay them their money, yeah. and then you do their job yeah. for yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they take advantage <laughs> of the fact that you are age mates mm-hmm. or maybe they're even older. Yes. So it's it has been difficult. I've had some come and steal steal millions. I have had one who came to create the product. I taught him how to do the formulation while I was in college. And then he, he guess what he did? I spent hundreds of dollars to source my essential oil to make them really, really cheap and go sell it next to nothing. I eventually found out after I fired him. Wow. So I've gone through all of that, you know, big losses. But then it's just what I do. It's my passion. So at the end of the day, I push through it all. Having results-oriented people, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. And how how profitable has this business been? Is it a business that you think is is something that 
is sustaining you right now because I know it's still, it's still a baby. I mean, yeah. you still have a you still have the world to conquer. Yes. So it's still a yes. baby. Yes. Um, yes. But as it is now, you just graduated. Mm-hmm. Uh, We're yeah, fan job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't need a job. Yeah, you, you, you're you're creating the <laughs> job. My... And you're employing people and you're yes, paying them. Yes, yes. So yes. is this a profit? I mean, with all these challenges mm-hmm, you're going mm-hmm. through now, is it a profitable business? And would you say that it was a wise decision that you made? I'll definitely say yes. Yes, it's very profitable. It has a cha- its challenges. Yeah. Definitely, it's not easy. But at the end of the day, it is profitable. I think it has sustained me for a very long time. Mm. 2016, 2021, mm-hmm. I think it's a long time. If it was not yielding results or yeah. profits, I think I would have left it and done something mm-hmm. else a long mm-hmm. time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, Nobody needed to do business for loss. Yeah. So it really works for me. It has been helping me my home and yeah. a whole lot of things so it's you know you know i have this friend she's not sarah leonian <laughs> she would always say have i'll put it in creole fiti eye money <laughs> <laughs> do you know what fiti eye money fiti is eye money. like you gotta have the fiti eye money. money so that no one just we'll comes you nothing so being in the home mm. so if your husband he takes time to talk to you because you're not a liability <laughs> you cannot talk to me anyhow anyhow because you're not a liability like <laughs> exactly my babe is yeah, it, like yeah. she's you're bringing right, in I, I the usually tell him, i'm a help meet you know i'm not a liability exactly, i help you so exactly. you know it's We go together. Yeah. My burden is not totally on, on you. On he you. does his thing as a man in the home, but yeah. I also, you know, me just but be most me. Most importantly, yeah. you have the fiti money. Yeah, the fiti <laughs> money. I think I've got. It. I'll take that home. Women the fiti always money. have your fiti <laughs> money, even if you're going out on a date. date. Please carry your fiti <laughs> money so you don't have stories that touch it. I mean, I've heard some really ridiculous stories, and you're like. Girl, why didn't you just go with something in your pocket? No, I love that. I love that. I love that. (laughs) So, um, I mean, wow. (laughs) It's it's just been wonderful having you, Malford. I'm so, so proud of you. You're a young woman. Um, You know, I I can only just imagine how you and your friends used to be because you clearly would have looked like the serious one whilst everyone looked like <laughs> I've had a whole lot of trouble with that but I would have to say something <laughs> regarding that so um, let me ask this how, you know obviously you had friends yeah. and you still have friends yes. that you started you know this journey with yes. because they were the ones who tested yes, your products yes, definitely. have any of them sort of been inspired by your story and your journey have anyone sort of said wow this girl I mean, we're clearly not on the same level. Mm. I think I need to step up and I need to probably do X, Y, Z or maybe start my own business. Yeah, I believe, I think most people who come in contact with me, yeah. you def- you cannot help it. You you just see what I do. You mm-hmm. see the authenticity in it and you can't mm-hmm. help but be inspired to do yours as well. Mm-hmm. I have friends upon friends who... Mm-hmm. Based on what I have been doing, they've, they've started up other kinds of businesses. I have a, wow. a friend who is a florist. You know, she deals in flowers. Mm. I have a friend. You know, they're all somebody who cooks. I have mm. a friend who, you know, you know the posh market woman. Yes. That's she's my friend. We, you know, wow. went to Royal Beckling together, and we're still in touch. You know, you know everybody's just doing their own thing. You know, of course, um, Toya's creation, La Toya. We went ah. to university together. We studied a lot together. She's my friend also. You know, so we are all doing our thing. We're all inspired by each other. You know, I keep my circle really small, but you look That's at us and then you can tell yeah. like, oh, mm. I know why she's her friend. Yeah. You know, more or less yeah. something like that. But I think what I've also picked from, you know, what the examples you've just given about your friends mm-hmm. is the fact that they're starting businesses in niche markets. Yes. I mean, florists. Not everyone want to go into business. Of yes, you know, but it's something that's really in demand, but people don't know. And and <laughs> this is why people don't understand. Sierra Leone has a million and one challenges, problems, everything. Mm-hmm. But guess what? That is a million and one opportunity to, to start a business. Solutions. You remember the? Yeah. You remember what you started with the book? Yeah. Yeah. Find a passion. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And let it be something that someone is willing to pay, pay you for. for. So if there is no water in this area, I can decide to go into the water business. Business and supply With water. probably just a hundred thousand. I go buy 10, 15 containers and I go door to door. I'm going to supply you water, water every every day or every week you pay me X. And water is life. It's life. And you that's know, a business. Mm-hmm. There. So the point is mm-hmm. you have to find 
a problem, uh -huh. be it a personal problem, yeah. or be it a, a social problem, Pro social problem, and provide a solution. solution to that it's problem. not about the money. The yes. money would eventually come. come. Exactly. And again, the mistake we all make, even myself, I mm. made that when I was a lot younger. You know, we're waiting for the right opportunity. We're mm. waiting for the right capital. We're mm. waiting for the. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for that <laughs> doll from heaven it to say, "Yeah, this is the time." Come, or it will take. By the time like it that. comes, you are you're you're on to the next. Just just start. Yeah. Just start. Wow. Yeah. Oh, God, I mean, you've just thrown all the amazing <laughs> words of wisdom out there. I don't even know what else to ask you. Um, so, okay. Um, so, okay, let me probably ask for a recommendation for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I've got long hair. Okay. But not the fullest. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have relaxed hair. Yes, relaxed hair. Okay. Well, I would want to go natural, mm -hmm. but it's a headache. We know it's a headache. Ah, it's yes. a full-time job maintaining a natural hair. Mm -hmm. That's a process we'll get to probably a few years from now. But <laughs> for now, I want to keep it easy. Yes. What would you yes. recommend for myself? And I, I see that my edges are, I'm losing my edges. Okay. So for relaxed hair, what would you recommend? So the most beautiful thing about agro is it works for all type of hair. If mm -hmm. you're natural, if you're relaxed, mm -hmm. if you have dreadlocks, if you have leisure curls, mm -hmm. whatever type of hair you have. Well, ex except the Caucasian straight hair, okay. because it, it's catered for people of African descent. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, yeah, I'm a Pan African. It's still yeah. so. I grow will work very well for you. Okay. Yes, it works for relaxed hair. You know, you just have. I wish I would have brought the products. Now I, I regret. Uh, don't worry, it's fine. We'll show everyone. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it, you apply it to the strand of your hair. It strengthens it. Mm -hmm. You apply it to the scalp as well. If you choose, yeah. like you're saying, you're having. Um, thinning edges so mm -hmm. you just apply it and then you move on from there keep your hair in protective styles mm -hmm. i always recommend keeping your hair in protective style because that helps the products to work better mm -hmm. and not um just waste it because you can apply the best product yeah. in the world if you're not having a proper hair regimen or hair mm -hmm. care it will not work mm -hmm. so all of my clients, I basically do personal consultation as well. Because wow. if you buy my products and you ask questions, mm -hmm. I, I'm always in the position to tell you, okay, do this, don't do this. So, wow. That's that. And for the skin, because uh, first of all, I'm very big on anything that has to retain the elasticity mm. of my skin. Mm. We don't want to age anytime no, 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 soon. No, 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 so no, for no, someone no. who is just so fixated on having that elax, you know, that soft skin that looks soft and supple, soft and supple yeah. what would you recommend well, for me? The full, the full range, the full range. Hey, you know, it starts with the black. Soap. How much is it? I hope it's not two thousand dollars. The skin, no, the, the full skincare is just two hundred thousand liters. Oh, you see, very affordable. Very as affordable. Well. So okay. it involves the black soap. The black soap is called rosemary exfoliating mm -hmm. black soap. So okay. it exfoliates, it removes the dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. You know, our climate, the yeah. sun and the heat and all of that, mm -hmm. and the dust, it it builds up particles. And people really don't know that. That's one of the main reasons why they have dull skin. Yeah. So the black soap exfoliates your skin, mm -hmm. and then we have the body butter, which you apply just from the shower while your skin is a bit damp, mm -hmm. that seals in the moisture okay. that you have gained from the um, bathing. And mm -hmm. then it has it on added nutrients. We have lemongrass, mm -hmm. or we have, we, it's sweet with coconut milk and all of that goodness. I would okay. not name the other <laughs> ingredients. It's a trade secret. It's trade secret. But then you uh -uh. apply that as well. It works for stretch marks and scars mm -hmm. and these long dark spots and all of that. Wow. And then we have the coconut, um, the coconut lemongrass body oil, mm -hmm. which clears the skin if you have like turning lines or like um, you know sunburn yeah. and all of that it clears it up so that's the full package for you it gives you all the el elasticity you need okay. all the collagen boost uh -huh. and all of the glow you need wonderful it's, it's just 2000 now i'm going to be grab my own set yes. so right now everything is still done from the comfort of your home yes. manufacturer yes, yes. Uh, what are your five you know, long-term plan, maybe say five-year goal or, you know, yeah, what do you want hope well, to achieve in five years from like now? Like I just said, like I just said, um, because of my academics, I'd never been able to open my store. Mm -hmm. So now that I, at least I'm done with the book learning, I think I can focus now on opening yeah. my store, which will double up as a factory. Okay. And then we'll have the, the, the area for the sales and all mm -hmm. of that. So that's really a short-term goal for yeah. me long term i'm really looking at you know expanding having other stores in yeah. other african countries yeah. realistically guinea liberia maybe then join to nigeria mm -hmm. ghana and all of these places and maybe in the next three four five years yeah. that's the goal at the end of the day is to get it worldwide beautiful beautiful yeah. and as you expand 
don't forget that there's so much um, opportunities that can stem from that expansion. Yes, so yes. So you, 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 can, you can think about formulating for other people. Yes. You can think about starting a school. Yes. There's so many people who'd want to learn all the yes. amazing things. Yes. So you're all going to be surprised. I have a little diary that I keep far away and mm -hmm. I have all of those things in there. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. You'll see more and more of I grow. Wonderful. <laughs> so, um, yes, we will see more of I grow. Yes. The products are for unisex. Is yes, it yes, both it men is, and women? yes, it is unisex. It is okay. unisex. It's the it's hair products in the skin, on the skin, the skin yes, care so product as well. Yes. So you got for men and got women, women, and also I've got um, a children's care line. The okay. hair care is called Agro Kiddies. Okay. So you know because probably the essential oils that I use that for adults yeah. are maybe too potent yeah. for the tender scalp of a baby. Yes. So I have another specifically formulated one for kids. Mm. Yes. Amazing. I mean, I could go on with, I could just go on looking at your face, but <laughs> <laughs> we've got to wrap this up. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank Malford. you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You just sort of, you know, just re-inspired even myself, <laughs> re-inspired me and just got me a bit teary eyed as well. Um, but we wish I grow all the best. Thank um, you. We wish your family the very best. Thank you know, you. it's not every day. Yeah. You have that support system yeah. Yeah. and, you know, that's so much to be thankful for yeah. because they've clearly played a huge role Very. in either making you the woman you are or making I grow yes, the brand that, you know, that it has is. come to be. So we yeah. say thank you. We wish thank you all the best. Thank you. We'll continue to profile you, profile the work you do, uh, because for us, this is this is just a starting yes. starting ground. We want to be able to go to one high end supermarket somewhere around the world. And the first thing you see there is. I grow. I grow. It's going to happen. It's yes. going to happen. Yes. So yes. keep pushing. I know it's crazy in Sierra mm -hmm. Leone, but keep pushing mm -hmm. and eventually it would happen. Thank you. Thank well, you for having me. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Coming up next are my final words. In my final words, Sierra Leone has a number of challenges it is faced with, which means that there are many employment opportunities for those that are ready to think out of the box, create their opportunities by finding a problem to solve. Business simply is the provision of a solution to a problem or need that people are willing to pay for. We must stop defining the abilities of people mainly on their educational qualifications, but rather also on their innate capabilities. We must encourage young people to be job creators as opposed to being job seekers. There are untold opportunities within Sierra Leone that many people are oblivious to, mainly due to the perception of not having the right capital to launch their business, or it is an opportunity that is beneath their status. My guest started her business with just 60,000 Leones and gradually, through hard work, constantly learning and improving her craft and business built a business that employs a number of several unions while providing her an appreciable source of livelihood. It is not too late to get started. Mm -mm -mm. No idea is irrelevant and no amount is too small. All you need is just to get started and the rest will fall in place. Thanks for watching tonight's episode. As always, I'd love to hear from you on our Facebook page and as well on our various social media handles, on Instagram, on YouTube. As well, you can find us on our website, www.onthespotwaitstella. I wouldn't go without saying thanks to my sponsor, the National Revenue Authority, for supporting us through to bringing you this amazing conversation. Till then, uh, to when I'll be back next week, stay fabulous.